What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JB, and we are here today to talk about Real Housewives. Oops, not Real Housewives of Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, season 10, episode 9. The episode was titled Mama Drama. So, this episode was a good episode. I enjoyed this episode. Like, I really enjoyed this week's episode. It's so interesting, right? The first half of the season wasn't that good, right? At all. But I saw the preview of what's to come. I was like, oh, gotta watch this, right? I think what was I think the thing with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta that wasn't that people probably didn't take a lot to was the introduction of Andy and Mendeecees as well as Eric and Safari, right? I think that's really what it is. And I know in Miami, Ray and Prinky are gonna show up next week. But we'll talk about them next week. But before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on my channel and are not yet subscribed to the channel, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel. I need you guys to like these videos, leave your comments, you know, share these videos. Let YouTube know that you guys like my content so that way they can share the content. Like, is I look at my views. My views, are, you know, I guess I can't expect a lot with just having a little over a thousand subscribers. But damn, I wish I had... It's really interesting. I go back and look at some of my videos from last year and see how many how many views I had on videos and compared to now. A little bit about the same for some shows, but some shows had more views. But yeah, you guys, just help me help help me, you guys, help me get more eyes on these videos, you guys. So with that, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, shall we? All right, you guys. So the first thing I want, I think I'm gonna start with Rennie. We're going to talk about her. You know, it's very interesting when it comes to Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, right? Atlanta, we had these newcomers to the show. We had these three newcomers. We had Rennie, R Rennie Rucci. We had Young Baby Tate. And we had Amaretta the Great. But the thing with them is they don't highlight them as much, right? In the first few episodes, we talked about Yandy and Mendeecees with Infinity, We've talked about Eric and Safari and their fake drama because I saw a tweet about him uh, talking. I saw a tweet from him about you know, you know, did I don't know if he's saying he didn't believe that Erica. I don't know if he sent if he's flat out saying that the storyline between him and Erica was fake about her finding out at six months pregnant that she was pregnant when she was visibly showing. But whatever, I saw I saw that tweet. Um, what else? So yeah, we'll talk about Ring. So. With these newcomers, I like them. I like all. I like all three of the new girls. I like. I really love Young Baby Tate, and I. I like Amaretta and Great, and I'm. I'm. I'm like. I'm liking what I see of Rennie Rucci. So I like her, right? So we see Rennie. Rennie is in the studio. She's working on her album. I think this is her. Well, it's got to be her first album, right? So she's working on her album, and you know the music sounded really good. I will give her that. The music that she was when she was in the booth, I was like, okay, that sounds good. So then she's talking to one of the producers that was there with her, right? And she's talking about the fact that she said her mom was... Ooh, shit, my bad. Didn't mean to burp in your face. She's talking about the fact that her mom was talking shit about her to her sister. So I was wondering, is this, like... I was wondering, is this your mom's daughter as well? Or is this your sister? Well, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's her, her, her daughter as well. We're just going to assume. But she's talking about that, right? And, you know, I feel that you just need to sit down, have a conversation with her. And like she said, you know, it's okay to distance yourself from your family. Like, I've done that plenty of times with my family. I've distanced myself from them so many times I can't even count it. Like, I've, I, I just get to the point where it's like, you know what, I love you guys. But I, at this point, I need to love you guys from afar. And I'm actually in that kind of a position right now where I'm loving some of my family members from a from afar right just for right now right now some of them are on i'm putting some people on ice just because i just want to take some you know i just want to deal with i want to deal with things that i'm dealing with and i just have to you know talk to other people about it so that's where i'm at right and i get where she's coming from right so then we later see rennie so she has her two kids can't pronounce their names to save my life so d and d because they both they both had d names but they were they were really interesting how they were spelled, so I can't really pronounce their names. Not gonna try to. So 
she has the kids, right? So then her mother comes over and her mom, you know, she hugs the kids, brings them pizza, and she tries to, to you know, talk to Rennie. Rennie put like, and, and girlfriend, like, I ain't feeling you like that. Like, what? No. Back your ass back, right? So then Rennie starts addressing what her mom, what she's heard that her mother said about her, right? She said that she called her sister and asked her sister, was she on crack? I'm like, well, damn. If you worried about your child that much, why don't you call your child and say, hey, baby, you know, everything is okay. Is everything okay with you? Like I heard, you know, I've heard some things in the, you know, through the grapevine that, you know, you probably are on some drugs. Now, a drug addict is not going to tell you, yes, I'm on drugs, but I mean, at least you asked her. And then she also said that, you know, she was, she's heard that her mom says that when the kids are with her, that she doesn't send money for the kids. I'm like, oh, okay. But the mom says she got that shit out the air. I'm like, well, damn. Okay. I, I guess. Hmm. So they argue back and forth with each other. And at the end of the day, her mom still won't say that she said it. But Rennie is like, it was a Facebook post. It was this. It was that. You know, the best way to get somebody is to hit them with proof. If you hit a person with proof, they can't deny it. Damn, my eyes are literally watering. I don't know why. All right, you guys. So that's all I got to say with that. And we're going to move on. All right, you guys. So we got this in with Mama D. But I'm going to include this with the Dubai stuff because it goes hand in hand, right? So you guys know that Yandy and the rest of the cast, they're out there in Dubai as she, re as she and Mendeecees are getting ready to renew their vows, right? So Mama D got on the phone call. Child, Mama D and that damn dog with them red, his fur is black and red. I was like, Mama D, if that ain't about the most ghettoest thing I've saw in my life, but it's Mama D, what can you expect from her? Mama D says she is booked and busy and she's in the studio. You know, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna talk no shit about Mama D because y'all know what my number, y'all know my song. It's about to go down. First I do my lips. Lashes, browns, can't forget about my edges, heels, or the flats, or the motherfucking wedges. In that order, 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 in that order. Like y'all know that's my shit. I look good, bitch. Smell good, bitch. I feel like a million bucks. Order me some wings and some fries, and bitch, don't forget my bottle. In that order, like y'all know that's my shit. First I do my lips. Lashes, brass, can't forget about my edges, heels, or the flats, or the motherfucking wedges. Now, that is my shit. So, if <laughs> she gonna come out, oh God, I love Mama D. I love, I deserve, I, you know, I, I deserve. That's my shit, too. I, I will give you guys that. I deserve is, is my shit. I deserve to be. <laughs> but yeah, um, she's in the studio, so. I guess we'll see what Mama D's bringing to us pretty soon. So Mama D got a phone call from Judy. And Judy is telling Mama D about, you know, Yandy and Mendeecees being out in Dubai renewing their vows. Now, she says she was invited to the wedding, but then Mendeecees called her and disinvited her to the wedding. She also tells M Mama D that, you know, she's been, she's, she's not been able to see the grandkids and that you know they blocked her then she goes on to say that the marriage is fake like i mean i've been asking that question for quite some time but you guys told me that they did they did file the paperwork to get married because i have been asking that question for so long like would er, would yandy yandy yandy, yandy and mendices that's a tongue twister right with yandy and mendices i've been asking that question for quite some time because we knew that they never filed the paper she never filed the paperwork you know, it took it took a few seasons for Yandy to finally admit that when people had been talking about that in the blogs, you know, after he went to jail, people had talked about that, that they never legally filed to be married. But she it took her to what season nine to finally admit that on Love and Hip Hop New York. Whatever. So the marriage is fake, which like I said, we all I'm not gonna say so the marriage is not fake. That wedding that she had on television was fake. That was for, that was for, I actually don't even know who the fuck that was for. 
was that for Sam and Erica? <laughs> like when you think about it, who was that wedding really for? Was it for Sam and was it for Erica? Because I mean, who? Uh, why did the public really need to see that wedding? I, I, I don't know who that wedding was for. Do you guys know? But let's move on. So let's move over to the to Dubai, right? So here's the thing that I know I'm noticing, right? Yandy is talking about she invited all of her friends from Atlanta to the wedding to Dubai. <laughs> and I'm thinking about, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, Love and Hip Hop New York. For years, she's called Rubbin Pennies, aka Richie D, her brother. I don't see Richie D there, right? She's also friends with Kimbella. Well, are she and Kimbella good at this point? Like you can never you can never tell when it comes to of Yandy and Kimbella. One minute they good, one minute they not. So I don't know. But no Kimbella. That's supposed to be her sister, right? Um, who else is on Love and Hip Hop New York that she's cool with? Juju. I don't see Juju the first. I don't see nothing about Juju. Who else? Who else do I, who else do we know that she's cool with? Rem and Pap. She's cool with Remy and Pap. She's cool with Jonathan, but I did see Jonathan in next week's episode preview, so Jonathan is there. But I'm like, damn, you invite a majority of you, you invite a good majority of the Atlanta cast and not the New York cast. Now, with your big wedding that you had in New York years ago, everyone from the front, every actually, everyone from BH1 was there at that time. I remember that wedding like it was it was yesterday. Everybody from BH1 was there. Renee from Mob Wives was there. Um, I know I remember Renee was there from Mob Wives. The cast of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood was there. Atlanta cast was there. The New York cast was there. I know some of the Black Ink Crew New York cast was there. I don't remember if Chicago had premiered yet. That's the only thing. I can't remember about Chicago. But all of VH1 was there. Damn near all of VH1 was at Yandy and Mendici's first wedding, but they're not here for this one. Oh, uh, I guess. Whatever. So, they asked Carly, why is Lamar not here? Carly says Lamar's not there because he couldn't get his passport. And I'm like, wait a minute. Lamar Odom. The Lamar Odom can't get his passport. And I'm not trying to be funny or anything. Is it because of the drugs? I, I, I don't know. Why is it that he couldn't get his passport? If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'm just I'm just wondering why a person like Lamar Odom couldn't get his passport. Just a question. A question. So we find out that Carly's daughter is there. What is her name? Jasmine. Jasmine tells Carly that she invited her boyfriend, whose name is KP, I believe. Carly felt some type of way because she's like, this is supposed to be about us. And I will say in this episode, Carly... And her, Carly, she talked about what happened with the family reunion in this episode. So did Mama D and Judy. They all discussed what happened at the family reunion. Actually, I believe Eric and them did too. We'll talk about that. In, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um. So Carly is not too happy that the boyfriend is there. I guess she feels that the boyfriend is probably mooching off of her. Talking about he still lives with his mom. Okay, what's the problem with that? Does he have a job? And she feels like her daughter changes when he's around. I mean, okay. Well, I, I, whatever, Carly. Don't you change when you got a different nigga every season? Exactly. Shut up. Um, I'm going to pause and we're going to move forward. Actually, I'm going to pause, move forward, and wrap up. All right, you guys. So, we see them the next day as they're getting ready to go out. So, the whole group... With the exception of Sierra and Eric. Is that that guy's name? I think his name is Eric. Sierra and Eric. They're going to go to the... Uh, where did they go to? The frame. The Dubai frame. Child, ain't no way in the hell I would have went to that shit. But I wouldn't have went where Yenny didn't went either. They went to the, the Barrage Khalifa? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't think I am. But if I'm not, y'all chalk it up to I don't know I don't know how to pronounce it. But so they're all doing that. Like I said, neither one of them I would have went to. They're both tall. Like I would never go to what is that the Sears Tower in Chicago? That's high up. 
Like I would never go. I don't think I don't. I don't think I would ever go there. Like I just would never go there either. Ugh, I'm terrified of heights. Like, like when I went to Vegas, I wanted to go zip lining, but I'm like, damn, you you're afraid of heights, number one. And that's why I didn't go zip lining. But I think the next time I go to Vegas, I'll go zip lining. But so Sierra and Eric, they go on their date, right? Yep, at the frame. Sierra. Sierra, I think you're moving a little bit too fast, sis. Like, you're going a little too fast. Now, meanwhile, with the other, the others that went to the, the Khalifa place, Erica, any money show up. So, Sierra says, you know, she is, uh, you know, it's good to be in Dubai, right? Especially with all the shit that's going on between she and her, her mother and her sisters. So, it's just good to get away. But then she talks about the fact that she wants her partner... I'm like, didn't you just want that with BK? Didn't y'all just break up your engagement? Now you're in this relationship with this dude. And actually, then they just they just bought a house. You know, we'll see. like I said, Sierra, you're moving a little too fast. But hey, if she like if she likes it, he likes it, I love it. I don't know how much he likes it though, because we're gonna talk about that, right? He was okay when she talked about the wet the marriage stuff. Then when she started talking about kids, his face went. Yeah. I'm like, Sierra, you might want to read your man's face because your man's face is just basically saying, girl, I ain't ready for no damn kids, the fuck? So then they went to dinner. At dinner, Rashida pulled Kirk to the side and, oh, God, we really don't want to talk about this because I'm like, this is, y'all was really pushing for this one, huh? Pushing for this storyline, huh? You know, Rashida said in last week's episode that, you know, she missed her period. So she thinks she might be pregnant. So she told Kirk, Kirk feels he's too old to have kids, and Rashida feels that they're too busy to have kids. Okay, then. Whatever. So, they took a pregnancy test. I'm going to sum it up. She ain't pregnant. End of the story. So, then the next, after that, we see them, and they went to dinner. What? Shit, they went to dinner. They went to dinner a lot in this episode. I noticed that. Or were they at lunch? In this episode in Dubai, they ate a lot. I will say that. They ate a whole fucking lot. That was dinner. What the fuck? I'm just sitting here thinking about it. I'm just sitting here thinking about it, right? Because early in the day, Sierra and Eric went out on a date. And then we see them again. That's when they were all out again. Because Jasmine wasn't there. But then they went out to eat again. So I don't know if this was the same day. I'm pretty positive these are different days. But the editing was... I just just thought about the editing was off. They Like, they don't even say... Like, at least with the Real Housewives, they'll tell you day one, day two, day three. Maybe they did and I wasn't paying attention. Hell, I don't know. But Mama D finally shows up, right? So she pulls Yandy to the side to have a conversation with Yandy. And she told Yandy what um, Judy told her. Yandy got upset about that. I'm like, why? That was public not... Well, I mean, again, the wedding... The marriage itself is not fake. I'm not going to sit here and say that their marriage is fake. But that wedding was a sham. You put that wedding on for... You know what? The more that I think about it, you literally put that wedding on for Sam and Erica. Like, the more that I think about it, that wedding was for Sam and for Erica. And for the public. But I don't know why you did it for us. But girl, go off, right? Go off. Go off. So now, now Yandy and Mendices are both mad at Judy. But she, okay. I don't know what to say about that, but they mad. So we'll see what happens when Judy finally makes it to Dubai. But um, that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else. And share the video. And until the next one, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember... Wash your hands, wear your mask, socially distance, be blessed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.